Hello everyone and happy Tuesday and welcome to this Tuesday edition of your entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. It is Tuesday, March 15, 2022. Let's get started right now. Daniel Radcliffe reacts to Channing Tatum's naked scene in The Lost City exclusive. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. Samsung Galaxy S22 series, now available on Google Fi. I had like the easiest time in the jungle of anyone on this film. Channing and Sandra like had to, and the rest of the crew worked very hard in the jungle. I came, you know, I had a, I was sweaty because I'm fully suited for the whole thing, but there was, it was great. How great does it feel to be here at South by Southwest, really kicking off the festivities with your film? Yeah, it's really nice. It's, uh, you know, it's the first time. I've done anything like this in two years. Uh, this will be the first time I've sat in a cinema to see a movie in two years. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's a little bit weird that that is a film that I'm in, but it's, you know, yeah, it's nice. And as a villain, what made you want to be a part of this project as the bad guy? If you got a script where they were like, do you want to be the villain to Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum's heroes? You'd be like, yeah, of course. Um, so it was, it was a very, like, I knew they were involved. I love both of them. I and then I love the script. Like the script's really, really funny, and just um, Adam and Aaron did an amazing job on, the, on making it. And yeah, it was a very easy choice. Miss Sage, I enjoyed your book about the lost city, and I believe you're the one who can help me find its treasure. I have to respectfully decline. I'm afraid I must insist. Unchain me. That's your seatbelt. You know, everyone keeps talking about the chemistry that Channing and Sandra have. Okay, you were on set. You know what it was like. What What is it about those two? Um, I think they are both... I think chemistry mostly comes down to, like, openness and being curious and open about the other person that you're working with. And both Channing and Sandra are that. And they also just, like... They, are, they would both be, I think, very hard people to not have chemistry with. Like, they're both incredibly, like, nice and fun. Ch I mean, Channing can start a party on his own in a room. So, like, and I think, you know, I feel like it was it was very easy for them to find that. And the perfect pair to, uh, you know, take leeches off of Channing's naked body, yeah, right? Absolutely. I was not there for that scene on that day, but I have heard a, a lot about it. And I believe that was... Channing's first day on the film where he just had to get naked, yeah. second, second yeah. day on the film and getting naked in front of the crew, uh, a traditional actor's greeting. So tonight when you watch the film, are you kind of like, ah, close the eyes? Oh, wait, with a naked scene? No! no. no God, we should all be so lucky to look at Channing Tatum's naked body. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be squirming to that, but I'm looking forward, that's the thing, there are so many scenes I'm not in that I wasn't there for that I'm really looking forward to, like, seeing them. You know, your coaster, Sandra, has a restaurant here in Austin. Are you guys all celebrating together? I think we will. We're, we're, this is the start of a long press tour, so I think we will have many meals and hopefully many celebrations and things. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, hopefully we'll have a, a good night tonight. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Will Smith says there's never been in fidelity in his marriage. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. You both have talked very candidly. It's a very famous story, infidelity in the marriage and how you navigated that, that time. Never, there's never been infidelity. Never been infidelity in the Never. Will Smith is shutting down speculation surrounding his marriage with Jada Pinkett Smith. What is the secret to getting it right for you two? Because I know you worked hard at, at marriage. We've been asking ourselves that question. And really, at, at the end of the day, it's just not quitting, yeah. you know? While chatting with Gail King on CBS Sunday Morning, the Oscar nominee clears up rumors of infidelity within his relationship. The couple's decades-long marriage has become a hot topic since this 2020 Red Table Talk interview, where Jada revealed her, quote, entanglement with singer August Alsina. It was a relationship, absolutely. I was in a lot of pain, and I was very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. After revealing that, rumors swirled that Jada had an affair, but Will is shutting that claim down. There's never been infidelity in our marriage. Never been infidelity in our marriage? Never. Jada and I 
talk about everything, and we have never surprised one another with anything ever. And turns out all that talk surrounding Will's personal life doesn't bother Will. He's even turned it into a positive. I have decided that chatter about my life can be of a benefit to people. I think the chatter is a really, uh, chatter, chatter is the first stage to uh, having a real conversation and being able to truly explore if some of the things in your heart are loving or poisonous. This candid moment comes as no surprise. Will and Jada have always been super transparent about their ups and downs as a married couple. Back in September, while discussing his memoir, Will, to GQ, the Philadelphia native revealed that Jada wasn't the only one engaging in relationships outside of their marriage. Will explained to the mag in part, quote, Jada never believed in conventional marriage, but the experiences that the freedoms that we've given one another and the unconditional support to me is the highest definition of love. Anything that I need to make myself happy i will present that to my wife that i need that to be happy divorce is not an option we're gonna be together so we're gonna figure out how to be happy fast forward to 2022 and it seems all's well with a pair who've been attending numerous events together celebrating will's latest role in king richard you just went toe to toe for two hours with the number one player in the whole world had her shook if you don't have no respect for yourself right now, you will never have none. That's Will playing Richard Williams, the dad of tennis champs Venus and Serena. He's already nabbed the Golden Globe and SAG Award, and up next, he's going for Oscar gold. I'm just super proud of him. I'm super, super proud of him. E.T. caught up with the pair last month at the SAG Awards, where they accidentally matched, and Jada couldn't help but gush over her hubby's success. Yeah. First time you saw it, what was your Oh, I was just so proud. I mean, mm -hmm. we had so many conversations about it, and he was very nervous, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but just to, for him to have the opportunity to highlight such a beautiful black family that really struggled, um, and through their struggles, made something very beautiful, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? So I, we found it really inspiring, and I'm just super proud of him. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that did it for the entertainment report right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.